YouTube, man. What's up, man? It's gameplay time, you guys. Tell me you love the gameplays. And if you guys want to watch me live, that link is below. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. You can watch me play these LCQ leaderboard games. This is the last tournament of the year. It's going to be the LCQ, the last chance qualifier. That means there's one more chance for one more person, both on PlayStation and Xbox, to make the Madden Bowl. So if you guys still want to play, there's still two weeks left of the leaderboard. You can check out Salary Cap Ranked. You probably want to be in the top 50 to qualify for the tournament. First play of the game, we got Michael Vick. So we're going up top to Calvin Megatron Johnson. Marcus Trufant actually makes that tackle, and it's going to come up to be a big tackle by him. Here, first play, boom. Just played good coverage there inside the red zone. I noticed he went man coverage. And that's going to come into play right here the next play. He, as I audible to Taysom Hill, he goes all out blitz. I think he's man coverage on the left, but it's a cloud. And I fired a curl right to Marshawn Lattimore. Like I said, first down, I saw it was man coverage. I knew that curl route would beat man coverage. But I went there and anticipated the coverage and threw the wrong pass. But we have P. Willie go ahead and make a sack. Uh, D. Croft, this is D. Croft. I didn't even tell you guys that. But this is D. Croft is um the Seattle Club champion uh, this year. He's, he's a really good passer. Really uh, one of the up-and-coming young players in the game. Uh, as you see, you use Aaron Rodgers. These kids have really good pocket presence. That's one of the strengths they have. Uh, and that's why I tend to spy every play if you watch these game, watch these plays. Uh, the reason I want to spy Aaron Rodgers, not that he's mobile. Now, as Calvin Johnson gets blurred by Sean Taylor right there. Not that he's mobile, but when they step up in the pocket, it almost becomes like a delayed blitz as we see Jadavion Clowney get into Aaron Rodgers right there. So, you see, I got a spy. It's kind of like if you want to step up and get away from Fletcher Cox, I can click in that right stick button and send the spy after him. So, it's kind of a delayed blitz rather than a spy for the quarterback. And right there, I go ahead and pick him off as he tries a broken play with Aaron Rodgers. Patrick Willis. I got full Patrick Willis on my salary cap squad. 95 speed. Uh, next play, from, I catch him on the D-tackle, and we hit the delay route to John New Smith, the tight end. Up-and-coming tight end with the Tennessee Titans, man. He had a good year. He's really good budget player in Madden. Reds is getting out the pocket there with Calvin Johnson, running over Lattimore. Just a big-body beast, Calvin Johnson. Now, I don't have fast break because it costs so much cap. Uh, if you guys watch me play, I run fast break a lot, but you can see how slow Michael Vick is at running this blast. Just labbing and trying to see if I can still run it without fast break and we get into the end zone right there with michael vick so we're gonna see man like i said they they upped the fast break cap to 85 cap that's a lot of salary cap to be able to run blast so i took it off but the best thing about blast is the short yardage and michael vick did get in right there take a seven nothing lead uh like i said there it is again just the spy making play but calvin johnson with a big spin move there just making plays dude calvin johnson is the best receiver in the game if you guys don't have him do what you gotta do to get him once again, that time Fletcher Cox finally makes a play. You see he has a superstar center. He's really doing a good job on my power specialist, uh, Fletcher Cox. But right there, he finally, he's kind of stepped into that pressure rather than Fletcher Cox shed. We get the third and 16. Just going to go ahead and, yep, yeah, there's Aaron Rodgers stepping up. The one play I don't spy, send four with no spy. So I'm telling you, as he throws this fade on the outside, I thought Sean Taylor was going to go pick that off. But like I said, it's just about making him uncomfortable in the pocket, having that spy. There it is again. I send it. That time it was Dante Jackson. I believe like 94 speed Dante Jackson. Those underneath. Just just not just makes him uncomfortable when he steps up in the pocket. When you have Aaron Rodgers, more of a pocket passer as he throws this post route to Calvin Johnson right there. You don't want him to be able to step up in the pocket and be comfortable. First play dive. Gets into the end zone, man. How many times in this game do you tackle the runner forward into the end zone? I know it happens to me. I'm assuming it happens to you guys too. But uh, right there, we just tied up. I got a minute left. I'll get some points here. Pitch the ball to Dion. Make a little move, spin move. But Sean Taylor gets me. Got to get some points. We're going to try to go up top. First play again here. Nobody really open. I'm going to get rid of the ball. That's the one thing about a mobile quarterback, man. Sometimes whatever you put out there doesn't work, and you can actually get away and throw the ball away. Right there, I tried to throw the in route. His Montez Sweat did not animate. Did not make any plays for him right there. This time we get out of the pocket. We throw the corner route. Boom! Tory Holt. So after you after you get away with throwing that in route, you got to be able to make a, make up for it. I want to throw this corner route at Montez Sweat so bad, but not open. I'm going to live to fight another down. I have no timeouts left. Right here, just taking off with Michael Vick. First priority, get out of bounds. So even if we run backwards a little bit, stop the clock 35 seconds. Probably have two plays to get to the end zone. Next play, nothing really there. Going to throw the ball away. Get to a second down. This time he sends everybody in our favorite thing in the world, pressure and accurate. 
Makes it tough to pass in the pocket against these blitzes. Vic is great on the run, but if he's in the pocket, he might mess up a throw. I know you guys have gotten pressure inaccurate this year. Happens to all of us, and it happened to me right there, causing me to throw an interception. Right there, we see Fletcher Cox going after it. And that's going to be the end of the half. We're going to get to the halftime. I feel all right. I feel good. I feel like uh, I do two picks inside the 20, inside the 15-yard line. So even if I don't throw picks there, that's six points. Um, so I could be up 13-7, to seven, or I could at least have 10. But because of those interceptions, we're, we're in a tight game. And it's a really good player. And I got to do my best job to really uh, keep him in front of me. He does a great job of passing. And this uh, patch U trips he runs out of New England, it really spreads out the spreads out your defense. Uh, it makes it tough to cover all these people. But the biggest thing I want to do is not give up any of those post routes, not give up any big plays. As you see the stats throughout this game, man, he's going to be about 10 for 11, really finding these gaps with these drags and these hitches underneath. And really just don't want him to get plays over 10 yards. I feel like Fletcher Cox sending the spy everything will eventually, uh, as right here, well, he got he got four yards scrambling, but just keep everything in front of me. You know, I realize some of these kids are really good at passing. And when you play somebody that's really good at passing, once again, we send that spy. Uh, sometimes just don't give up a big play, and you'll be all right as he throws a little out route right there. Like I said, 11 completions for 30, 130 yards. So that's like, what, 13 yards a carry, and there we get burnt. Now, if you guys watch Befriending the Bot, I talked about deep blue zones in the first episode. Right there, what I did is I did not change my deep third into a quarter, and so he got burnt. So if you don't know why that happened, uh, what happened there, and what causes people to get burnt on the outside, and how you can burn people on the outside, check out that Befriending the Bot series. It'll break down everything. Right there, I do the, I do the uh, corner route kind of right at his user because I knew he would drop back to stop that deep post route. Man, right there, I had the deep post again. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good just taking what I get, get there. Throw the ball to Laquan Treadwell. He's a 10-cap wide receiver. Michael Vick, boom, corner route over here. Torrey Holt, good money. Good get it. Torrey Holt, man, he's a free card, and he really is pretty decent. Go up the seam, but Dion is too fast. One thing that you guys realize about these cards, cards in the game, man, Deion Sanders, all these 99 speed, 99 zone, whatever it may be, they're really fast. I thought the four verticals, I could hit that seam right up the middle, but he closed on that once he clicked on really quickly. Once again, a throw underneath, just not a big play, and I'm okay with it because I have Sean Taylor, I have P. Willie, I have all these guys underneath that can make tackles, make plays for me as we're going to get into the fourth quarter now. First play of the fourth quarter, he's going to stand up. I'm going to send this by P. Willie. Cause the fumble, man. If your quarterback gets breathed on in the open field, especially with Patrick Willis, he's going to fumble the ball in first play. In the pocket, in the pressure, Vic standing like a man finding Torrey Holt for the TD to tie the game up, man. 14 all, pretty much the start of the fourth quarter. So I just got to get off the field here, hopefully get the ball back and make some plays uh, to put some points on the board, take the lead of this game. Brandon Wilson, 22 cap, punching Mostert in the face. First and 10, we get the sack. Start sending a little bit of pressure, man. I love playing coverage, man. But when you got with the best players, as we drop an interception, the next play, Taylor Mays. But the best players, man, you got to mix it up. What you do, offense, defense. Right there, he goes out route. Bad animation. Gets him to a fourth down. He's going to go for this and fire the ball right at P. Willie. And what does P. Willie do? Whoop! I'll go this way. I'll go that way. And I'll put up seven. Take it to the Baja. 21-14. Switch this game real quick. Patrick Willis forcing the fumble, catching the pick. He's just an absolute animal, man. I, I, I feel like the card's been out a long time. Still 95 speed. I still want to say he's the best middle linebacker in the game. I really do. Uh, with the salary cap team, I have Patrick Willis and I have full Deion Jones as Dante Jackson gets the quarterback there. So those two middle linebackers, man, your middle linebackers that are harder your defense as he throws right there to Calvin Johnson, they will really... Hold your defense down. If you have two good middle linebackers, they will. your defense will be very good. That's why I had Deion Jones and Patrick Willis. Fourth and inches. He goes to the flat route, and Deion can't jump in in time. Does get that possession. Gets two-minute warning. Up by seven. Throws it underneath there. Taylor Mays goes for the strip. Does not get the ball out. Uh, we're feeling good. He needs a touchdown. Anytime somebody needs a touchdown, nice playmaker right there. Just at the perfect spot. Get a playmaker to pick up a cool 40 yards on that one right there. Uh, we have minute 20 left, so everything underneath right there, my man, Brandon Wilson. Again, two sacks for Brandon Wilson. Second down, Anthony Barr. He's going to go to the wheel route right here. This is why we keep Taylor Mays. Punch him in the face. It's third and 12. Here we go. Goes wheel route to Chris Johnson. Lattimore, I go for the strip and gives him an extra four yards. Gets him to a second and two right, or fourth and two right here. 
throws over Deion Jones' face, and Johnny Moore holds on. Timeout. One timeout left. 40 seconds left. I'm going to man up the running back. He's going to actually find this guy in flats right here. Come on, Lattimore. Get over there. Make a tackle on big Calvin Johnson. Get him to the two. He calls timeout. Second and goal. Again, he's going to go running back out route. Everybody on the hitch. We're covering the hitches. Sack right there. Anthony, bye. Time is running. He no huddles. 13 seconds left. We're going to go ahead with the cover two again. Only rush two. I'm on Fletcher Cox. Tries to thread the needle. Almost gets me right there, Johnny Morton. One more play. Fourth down. He's going to snap the ball. Look for the running back. I manned him up with everybody. Tons of people right there. Incomplete. GG's in the chat, man. That's how you hold the door at the end. It gets really tough because he got the ball back with three minutes left, man. It gets really tough to move the ball but uh, with the clock, with the runoff and everything. So we were able to get a stop and hold the door with our back up against the end zone. GG's in the chat. Hit all them links below.